Now into this process, the Ukrainian World Congress took an important part into monitoring the first round of the presidential election. Joining us by Skype from uh, Canada to talk about the first round is President of the Ukrainian World Congress, Paul Grod. Hello, Mr. Grodin. Thank you for joining us today. Hello, my pleasure. Uh, so, uh, first question, in which countries would you say was the highest and, and the lowest turnout? And in general, how active were Ukrainians? We're still analyzing and gathering the results in terms of participation at all the various uh, uh, polling stations. Uh, the Ukrainian World Congress uh, fielded the third largest election monitoring mission in Ukraine, and we were the largest non-government funded uh, observation mission with uh, almost 300 observers from 20 countries uh, that were in Ukraine. Uh, and they monitored, what, 18 oblasts in Ukraine. In terms of our, our monitoring abroad, we were the only election observation mission that, that did uh, monitor electoral districts outside of Ukraine in about uh, 20 countries around the world. And uh, we have seen um, uh, active participation. Uh, it varied uh, from uh, country to country. Uh, as an example, one of the statistics I have from Canada, there were uh, just under 5,000 uh, uh, registered voters. Uh, and unfortunately, only about 20% of those voters actually did participate uh, and cast a ballot. Uh, as you can imagine, when there's only two electoral districts uh, or voting stations in a country the size of Canada, it is very difficult for, for uh, voters to, to get there. And we will be making recommendations to the Central Election Commission and to the government of Ukraine to perhaps uh, uh, simplify the process in order to allow more uh, Ukrainian citizens abroad to vote. Now, did, uh, would you say that did the process go according to all international standards or have the uh, UWEC uh, observers already uh, registered some uh, violations during the, the election process? In general, what was the feedback? What's the feedback of this uh, first round? Uh, just a few minutes ago, the head of mission for the Ukrainian World Congress, uh, Eugene Choli, the past president of the Ukrainian World Congress, uh, together with the uh, deputy head, uh, Andriy Fute and Tamara Oleksi, uh, reported on the UWC's findings. And uh, they found that uh, the election process was highly competitive uh, and that it met uh, all international standards. Uh, they did find technical uh, issues, uh, although they did, their assessment was that these technical issues did not impact on the results. These are things such as uh, having a polling station on the third floor of a building, uh, which doesn't have ele uh, elevator access, as an example. So they're very minor uh, in, um, in, in context. Uh, anecdotally, uh, the uh, the head of mission I spoke to earlier today said to me, you know, if if he didn't, if he you know closed his ears, uh, he would think that he was in an electoral uh, district in in Canada, and he felt that it ran very smoothly. Now, uh, and uh, to conclude this interview, would you say that for the first, what's the challenge for the WWC, and uh, what would be the recommendation for the UWC for the next and the second round of the election? I think the, the, the things that we have to recommend are, are, are broader in scope uh, mm -hmm. and w would not be able to be addressed uh, uh, for, the, for the second round. Uh, these are things such as uh, providing gr greater access uh, to, to voters. And, and these, are, these are bigger issues. Uh, do you allow for uh, remote voting? Uh, do you allow for more stations, uh, electoral districts to be out opened outside of um, uh, of embassies and consulates. Uh, these are questions such as uh, how do you have more people who are registered to vote? Uh, and and these, you know, issue, these, these are questions of things like dual citizenship uh, because we have identified uh, out, uh, abroad uh, many uh, many Ukrainian citizens do not uh, update their passports after they've received the citizenship of another country, and as a result, they're not able to vote. And, and there there are some more um, uh, questions that we have to address uh, from, from that perspective. But in terms of the actual process, uh, we hope that the second round will be um, as smooth uh, and as uh, uh, and meeting the international uh, norms, uh, electoral electoral norms. Uh, as they were in the first round. Well, thank you for these highlights. It was a pleasure to uh, interview you today. Uh, that was the president of the Ukrainian World Congress, Paul Grad, commenting on Ukrainian presidential elections.